Hello, Ahmad. I'm Dr. Asma. What can I do for you today? Hello, doctor. I'm not feeling well. I have a fever, a really sore throat, and I'm feeling pain and pressure in my right ear. And now, I'm getting pus coming from my ear. What is wrong with me, doctor? Well, Ahmad, the symptoms that you are describing sounds like you have an ear infection. Let me take a look in your ear and see what it looks like. This is what a normal eardrum looks like. It's pearly and white. And this is what an infected eardrum looks like. It's red, swollen, and bulging. If the eardrum ruptures, like in this third picture, pus drips out of the middle ear and you can see and feel it coming out of your ear. How did I get an ear infection, doctor? Well, Ahmad, everybody has a structure in their ear called the eustachian tube. The eustachian tube goes from the back of your mouth to your middle ear. It's just like a straw that stays open and lets fresh air circulate into your middle ear. In children, the tube runs horizontally, but in adults, it's angled upwards. Because children's eustachian tubes are horizontal, they tend to be closed more often when they're open. When a child catches a virus, fluids, mucus, and inflammation cause the tube to close cutting off air circulation to the middle ear. This makes bacteria have a party, and they start dividing and multiplying in numbers, causing pus and fluid to build up in the middle ear. This is what is causing your pain and fever. If this fluid and pus builds up too much, the eardrum can rupture, causing the pus to spill out of your ear. That is the yellow substance that comes out of your ear. Oh, thank you, doctor, for explaining that so well. Now, how will you treat my infection? In some countries, if the ear infection is only mild, doctors will treat the infection only with pain medication, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen. But in your case, you have more serious symptoms, and you should be treated with antibiotics for 7 to 10 days. The eardrum will heal and slowly return to normal. Sometimes, if the eardrum does not heal, you will need to see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. So, doctor, what will happen if I don't take antibiotics? If you don't get treatment for an ear infection, a pocket of pus can remain in your tissues and cause pain and fever that won't go away. In some rare cases, the infection can spread to your brain and you could die. It could also damage your hearing. Okay, doctor, I think I'm going to take the prescription for the antibiotics. Okay, I hope you feel better, Ahmed. I will see you again in two weeks to see how you are doing.